it's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, and I'm an online Grandmaster ranked risk player. And we are now on episode 20 of my rank up series where I take my man Ranky McUpperton from North Korea all the way from novice to Grandmaster by joining other people's lobbies and playing various settings throughout the game. And today we are playing Progressive on Bohus Fortress. A map I, admit, I admittedly have not got a lot of exposure to. So therefore, I have, cho I have selected it because, again, I want to challenge myself on and get um, the most value I can on this rank up series. Um, okay, so I'm playing as red in the second position, so it's my turn now. Uh, let's see. I don't have a lot of material in this ring around here. Just take a quick glance at the world. Just to refamiliarize myself. Okay. So there is a plus four here. I don't really want to go for a bonus. Okay, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a troop there. I'm gonna put a troop there. Let's put a troop, my last troop there. I'm going to get my take here. Lose a troop, unfortunately. I'm going to pull my two out of that. Bonus here. Okay. So, the settings for today's game are... World Domination, Bohus Fortress, Auto Setup, Turn Timer, 60 Seconds, AI Difficulty is Hard and Automated. I do know that we have one bot starting with us today. Uh, cards are Progressive. Dices are balanced. Dices. Die. Dice rolls are balanced blitz. No filtering of rank on the lobby. Alliances are on. Fog is off. Blizzard's off. And portals are also off. In the first position, we have the pink bot. I'm in the second position playing with my alt account, Ranky McGoverton, created solely for the purpose of for this rank up series. In the third position, playing as orange, we have Daphnehem from the United Kingdom. In the fourth position, we have Nathan from the United States of America playing as white. In the fifth position, we have Stiglitz1602. I think that's Mexico. Pretty sure that's Mexico. And uh, playing as purple. And in the sixth and final position, we have Dean Cooper. Who hasn't had their turn yet. They're down to 18 troops. Uh, playing as blue. Okay. So, let's see if I can make some alliances here. Why not? I'll offer them to everybody. I'll also make sure I offer one to, to a white player. Okay, so we got one alliance request so far from purple. Okay. <clears throat> so, did I lose any stacks? I know I've been hit because of my troop count. Okay, I lost a one stack there. Lost a... Okay, so Nathan did attack me. So did Orange. It's all just single stacks, not a big deal. So it looks like Nathan wants this bonus here. I can't really get out of there. I'm going to lose this two stack. Not a big deal. Looks like I might have to play a two position play here because I'm going to lose this two stack. Actually, three position play. That's not true. I got this right here. It is blocked by pink. Okay, so wow. Blue takes this massive bonus. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these territories here. Get out of the way of blue because when they expand into me, uh, I don't want to be in the way of that. So I'm going to put two, a troop here. I'm going to put two troops there. Let this two die and bring these in here. I have probably played this map less than five times, and I don't think I've even played progressive on it.
Okay, so blue sends me an alliance request. I guess they declined my first one or I failed to send it. <laughs> you, att you attack purple yourself, buddy. It's not my job. You want to keep that bonus? You do the work. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I am a little bit low on the tr on troops, but I do have three positions, and I'm happy with that for now. Okay, so as expected, purple punches my two stack, and it's gone for good. What does the white player do? Probably going to gravitate this stack this way. Just move it away from... Move it in, in a direction that looks like it's moving away from orange. Okay, so white takes a bonus as well. Perhaps I'm going to be the only player on this board without a bonus. Because my four human opponents all have bonuses. Okay, I got an alliance with orange as well. Yeah, the bonuses are kind of juicy here. It'd be nice of blue if they move this three out of the way, and then maybe I will think about taking this bonus now that I have an alliance with orange. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, purple gets a take and passes their turn. Okay, everyone's holding their bonuses so far, so I think I might actually push for a bonus. Let blue know I need to attack your territory. Please move that three. Let's see. Or do they punch orange? do punch orange and they move they move out of my bonus okay so purple is playing board police very cool I'm going to watch out for the bot here. Hmm. Okay, I might put all my reinforcements here and start migrating away from this bot. The bot does have cards, but I don't think they're going to punch me because there will be smaller stacks in here. This is exactly what I'm going to do. No, I'm just going to take take this bonus here. Okay. I'm happy with that. someone say something to me I heard that clicking noise one of my still my gripes of this game is that you can miss messages on the on the in the transition uh, when when scenes transition uh, during like the phase changes and it's just I've, I still can't believe that they haven't updated it so you can at least go back and see what someone said to you uh, but you know it is what it is maybe you can and i don't know about that if you know let me know in the comments if 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 that functionality is there okay so maybe orange has bought it out they are down to 9 troops looks like i'm about to lose my lines with orange because they probably went offline <clears throat> 
Okay. And hopefully the bot doesn't have enough time to make an attack and break me. Can you believe it? Usually they never they usually don't make have enough time to make that attack. Okay, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. So the white player tries to kill orange, fails. I feel like my opponents are all fixed mentality and they, they're not playing kind of a, you know, your standard progressive strategy. And that... And I... <clears throat> because of that, I might actually pivot and kind of make my game a bit more of, you know, use, use more of a fixed style. Get this bonus back. Try and build up some troops. Blue getting really big. I'm still at 19 troops. Okay, so yeah, orange is now a bot. We already know that. They've already quit. Purple telling me to attack blue. Purple, you're right there, bud. And you've got a bonus. You attack blue. Ooh, now in order to get rid of this orange stack, I'm going to have to roll a 4v2, which is not ideal. Perhaps I don't do it. Pickbot sets in early. <clears throat> they smack they smack a white five stack. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, and they try and break blue and they fail. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, 4v2, not ideal. I don't need to reinforce that position. I'm going to put two troops here. Put two tro put a troop there. I'm going to move this way on pink. Actually, maybe I make a second attack. and combine those. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Give myself a bit of insulation from the bot. And those those uh, those positions weren't separated by much anyway. So Dude, you attack purple man, you're right there. What are you talking about? Okay, so orange sets in behind me. And it looks like they're gonna have an eye for this bonus. I don't think we're going to see an 8 on 8 roll when there's one stacks beside. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm not growing in troop count. Still only got 20 troops and we're already I've already finished my fourth turn. So, if we look at blue as 31 bonus okay let's see a break here white come on very good okay good orange bot doesn't have cards they don't have any they don't have they don't have territories and neither and they don't have a continent so what I'm gonna do on my next turn is I'm gonna put all my troops here this position's strong enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my take here, fortify back here. <clears throat> okay, purple takes a second bonus.
Oh, blue does have a, still has a continent because they had two before. Okay. Blue punches back at white. Breaks the bots. Bonus. Fantastic. And maybe it looks like they're going to steal the bots bonus as well. No, they won't be able to finish. Unless they roll a 3v3 and get unbelievably lucky. No, they fortify back to their territory, to their continent. Okay. <clears throat> Pink bot punches. Gets at least two takes. And then finishes their turn. All right. So I do have a trade available, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put everything here on this five. Buddy, I'm I'm not doing your dirty work. <clears throat> you have two you have two bonuses. You have twice my troop counts. Yeah, you first. Okay, set start rolling in. White sets early. I think they're gonna do it to attack blue. Attack here, they're gonna attack blue from that. Oh, nice, they're gonna come in with a 13 stack, but they're still leaving blue with, with a bonus. They're gonna attack blue hard. Do they leave that 10 in blue's bonus? Blue doesn't have cards, they will put in eight troops at least. Purple holds their two bonuses, looking very strong. 45 troops. Purple reinforces their guards and reinforces an exterior position to take a card. Blue putting in nine. So they'd have to roll a 10v10 to get rid of white. <clears throat> it's not impossible to win a 10v10. It looks like blue is going to attack white from the other side. Roll a 12v8. This is what I need. I need my opponents attacking each other. They do roll the 12v8. They roll the 6v3. No, they just break. Okay. <clears throat> Problem is, though, no one's attacking purple. Okay. Blue unnecessarily punches the bot as well. And then leaves a five stack in my bonus. <clears throat> okay. Alright, looks like I'm gonna live to trade. Get the 12. I'm gonna split these evenly. Don't really have good lines here on paint on the on the orange bot. 
Maybe I take some off here. Yeah, look how much material I'd have to punch through. Two, four, six, seven, nine, ten. I'd have to punch through ten just to get there. Three cards. Do I have a trade? I don't. Okay. So we're getting to that portion of the game where a savvy player might look at me and say, hey, I want to attack you for your cards. Hmm. Let's hope someone feeds me the Vought Kill. That would be sweet. I would absolutely love someone to feed me a kill. A roll call here, make sure my opponents are still here. Well, the ones that are allied with me are still here. Amazing how no one's touching purple. And he's the clear troop leader on this board. Putting in 10 per turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Plus, they haven't even traded yet. They're going to get. Oh, they don't even know they have a trade. They punch me. Oof. Okay, I don't really like that. Now, how do I evacuate that? Now, let's not forget, I could get annihilated. That 12 stack could get annihilated by the orange bot if they trade. Orange bot wakes up with the trade, says, Oh, I want this bonus. They'll have plenty, they'll have plenty of, re they'll have more than enough reinforcements to punch and take this bonus. Then I'll be left in a single position. Blue finishes a second bonus. And this 12 stack is trapped in here. So I'm not going to I'm actually not going to invest in it and I am going to punch this 3. See if I can get it out of there. Cuz this situation sucks. Pink bot just murders blue. Do a slider blitz and just hope for a great roll. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, wild card. Okay, so I'm guaranteed to trade using that wild card. I'm definitely going to use it if I get the chance, if I don't die. Um, blue could set in. Blue doesn't even really need to... Yeah, they would have to set in to kill me. There's too much material here for them to punch through. And they just quite... I don't think they would quite make it here. Well, maybe with 10 troops. Attack my territory if you need to. Well, stop putting five stacks around me, bud. <clears throat> Let's see what purple does. Do they set in and kill me? Does white set in? That would be something. I'm so focused on survival right now, I'm not even looking at kills. But I should be. Because 
that orange bot is worth it. I have to punch through a lot of material to get there. But I think it would be worth it if purple doesn't do it. I think I gave purple the road to do it by moving that, that 12 stack away. And at the same time punching one of the bots three stacks. I think that's purple. I think that's where purple goes. I think they kill that bot. Then potentially kill me. Uh, or pink bot. I wish I had a I wish I had a stack here cuz I'm still to get to orange I would I'm still going to have to blow through a lot of troops. Okay, so purple doesn't punch me. Oh, hit that. Hit that. Yes. Okay, so that makes pink a lot easier to kill. So I could kill pink too. I think pink's my kill. Well, no, because pink's over here, so I may as well do orange first. As long as blue doesn't mess up those plans. I have this weird feeling, though, that blue's going to go after purple. Or after white. No, they just match purple. Okay, so they're going to do both. So, that, so this might actually be a huge opportunity for me. Because what's the set at? The set's at 25. This is beautiful. I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah, I kill white as well and snowball this. Maybe I kill. Okay, unfortunately, blue has blocked me a bit, but that's not going to block me. Oh, pink's going to have five cards. Okay, I'm about to. This, this board is about to go nuclear. So let's trade in. This board is about to go nuclear. I can kill orange with the troops I have there. And pink. So let's do pink next. So what do I need for pink? I don't need a lot. I gotta go quickly, quicker though. Oh fuck, let's just put them all there. Five cards. That's a that's huge. It's thirty-seven. I don't know if I'm gonna build up to get enough to kill. Maybe I will get enough to kill purple. double set yes I will absolutely this game this chain is amazing Oh, what's going on? Oh, that clicks. It's amazing. Set in again. And I think we should be able to, yeah, we should have more than enough to kill blue, I believe. 52. Okay. So, uh, what do we need for this area here? Okay, 
beautiful. That should do it. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Nope, got it just on, just at the buzzer. Amazing game, awesome. So I went from the, the just the beat down short stack, uh, just waiting for that progressive opportunity. You, like you don't always find chains where you're gonna, but you can find at least find an opportunity to keep yourself in the game and and get one kill, like get a trade in with four cards and then kill a player with four cards and then sit, right? Um, but every now and then that chain comes along. And I didn't even I didn't even see the full chain. Uh, I knew it was going to be huge, but I didn't do the the, the math in my head. Uh, I didn't do the calculations enough to see if it would actually work out to be a full chain. I was just in my position. I'm happy to. Do, to <coughs> I'm happy to. <coughs> sorry. I'm happy to at least chain three together. <coughs> then I'll be super strong, and I'll be able to sit. Uh, just purple look. I, purple just looked too big, and I, I was like, "Oh my god, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to chain purple in two. But and but the, I didn't see that it was a double set uh, when I killed uh, orange, but it was, and that double set gave me the juice to chain the entire board. So great game, love it. Dean Cooper wants to be friends. He's a gentleman. Um, okay, so let's guess the rank of our opponents. So <clears throat> I don't think. There were any masters in there or any grandmasters for sure. Um, I'm gonna give them all intermediate, and let's see how we did. Okay, so I, I was I was even being nice there. Um, we had uh, two beginners and two novices, so yeah. So, Ranky McUpton should be at 14 wins, 10 losses. Fantastic, mm -hmm. and we won't be a grandmaster, but maybe I think we'll be in the 19,000s for the FFA points. Now, let's find out. Okay, there's my free token. <clears throat> okay, not in the 19,000s. So the, the ranks were too low there for me to gain anything uh, significant. So, no, no, I'm wrong. So we're almost, we're 43 FFA points short. <clears throat> okay, and the record of 14 wins, 10 losses. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is going great. So, it's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching the entire video. Um... And if you don't mind smashing that like button for me and consider subscribing to my channel so perhaps you and I can get better at this game together. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.